I think the secret to staying out of prison is staying out of court. Um, I mean, when I first got my documents together, I thought I'd put them to the test. And I got a parking ticket, I went and parked like right in the middle of town, like on the pedestrian bit, and parked my great, my bright green beetle in the middle of town. I thought, I'm bound to get a ticket. So I went into the bank, came back and I had a ticket. And I was in correspondence with them for about two months. I mean, I replied with them that, I mean, I think you get 30 days grace, um, where you can attempt to settle the matter. Because you can only take something to court if there's a dispute. If you're settling matters privately, there's not a dispute, so you've got no reason to go to court because there's no need for a mediator, which is what a judge should be. The judge kind of sits there, looks at both parts and says, like, whoever's in the wrong or whatever. Um, but there's no need for that if, if you're kind of in correspondence with the person and you're, and you're doing it privately. So I was in correspondence with my local city council, which are who issued the penalty charge notice, the, pe the parking ticket. I think I sent them three letters, um, including a notarised copy of my tax rebellion, and I never heard from them again. Um, I mean, I was told I was going to get a notice from owner, notice to owner. Obviously, I am the true owner of the car, since I deregistered it, um, and I haven't registered it with the DVLA. I'm the true owner, so they haven't actually been able to do anything about that one. Um, the council tax one as well um, sent off a copy to. I mean, luckily it's the same. It's the same council sent off a copy to that department. Haven't heard anything from them since. Um, I mean, I do think the claim of right is is a good way to go about it because once it's notarised as well, and they have to take notice of it. And once you can say this is what I understand, they don't even have to bother trying to bring their bullshit to you because they'll know that you know it's bullshit and it's not going to work and it will also almost get to the point where it's offensive that they're going to try and impose their acts on you um, when we've clearly said I don't want to be a part of this um, I mean I've, I've informed my local police of what I'm doing I've sent them a letter along with writings from Kate of Gaia's WordPress the open letter to law enforcement I changed it a little bit took quite a lot of the insults out I thought it might be easier for them to read it if it wasn't so <laughs> insulting um, so I sent that to the police I mean and that, they haven't troubled me at all and I travel around in a bright green beetle with pink flowers on it um, I've described what car I'm driving, they know what I'm doing, nothing's happening to me. Because I don't think they're out to get me, like, I haven't, I haven't done this to, so I can go out and break laws, and I can go out and hurt people or steal from people, or that's not why I've done this. Um, because I, I, I'm a strong believer that good people don't need laws to tell them how to be good, and bad people will find ways around the laws. Um, it's not about getting out of the legal system and having nothing to do with it. It's just about having the consent and knowing that I have the power to choose what I agree with and what I don't. And if I don't agree with it, I have the right to not do it. Um, and I think that's really important. I think that's why we're finding a lot of depression in people at the moment, because people are being forced to do things that go against who they are and they're not in alignment and they're not, and they don't represent us. Um, and they're very unsoulful things. But when people are coming with things like, oh, I'm just following orders, um, I'm just doing as I'm told, my boss said I have to do it, or, or whatever, um, that this is when it's almost, it, it's really dangerous. It's dangerous because it's, it's complicity, just blind complicity. So, um, I mean, I'm definitely up for talking and stuff. I'm not... I'm not really good with this technology stuff yet. I'm still getting used to it. Um, I've had like three Skype conversations <laughs> in my life. So, um, but I'm definitely up for giving it a go. I'm getting tired now, so I'm probably going to lock off for tonight. But thank you for your comments and all the support from everyone that's like blown up my page the past couple of days. Um, but yeah, namaste. See you later.